Why you act like a black woman? Everyone wants to imitate them. Well, let me give you a Philippine lesson, my friend. We Filipinos have black African blood. That is correct. And that's why many of us Filipinos have curly hair, have dark skin, have big nose trail like mine, and big lips like mine. That means I have a black African blood. And therefore, that makes me a black woman. And since I am a Bisaya girl, that means I have a strong black African blood. And we Bisaya people, especially the girls, we have very strong African blood. Okay? So now you know we are sister, even if you deny it. Blah. Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl Dumebilia. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you. It's so good to have you here. Welcome back. First of all, my usual disclaimer, this video is strictly for educational purposes. Please do not go searching out the people that I talk about in this video. Do not send them any form of hate, hate comments, threats, violence. This channel does not support any of that. So today's video, as you guys already saw in the title, is about this Filipina that just has a lot to say about black people. Now, from her videos that I've gone through on her page, she said a lot when it came to the whole passport bro situation. She made several videos defending the passport bros, talking about how Filipina women are just right for them. We know how to cook. We know how to clean. We would love to have you black kings. Of course, she said it's all western men all passport bros but she used to specifically address the black kings <laughs> but what struck me about her take on the whole passport bros thing was when i saw these particular videos that she made so a hyena asked me girl if you think we are the hyenas in the western world what do you call those passport bros huh well obviously they are the victims of the hyenas Hyenas are vicious animals. You should be very careful, okay? No telling what they'll do. Yes, hyenas exist. But guess what? We Filipinas are the lions and tigers of the jungle. So don't worry, my friend. We can handle and protect ourselves from hyenas. Because all we have to do is... And the hyenas will be saying... We Filipinas are the queens of the forest, while hyenas hide in the cave of darkness. Take our old toys. We don't want them. Ah, Really? Yay! Thank you! Don't worry, sister, because the toys that you don't value in the Western world is the most precious ever in the Philippines. And don't worry, we will make sure that we will take care of your toys because, of course, it's precious to us. And if that toys will give us happiness, oh boy, we'll make sure that that toy will be happy on our hands. And I also know for a fact that a lot of Western women here in the Western world, they keep jumping from toys to toys to toys to toys. And as soon as they get tired of that new toy, even though it's still new, they toss them away. And I was like, how could you throw away that toy when that toy is still valuable and it makes you happy? Are you really that spoiled? So yes, please, if you don't like your old toys, give it to us Filipina because for us, that old toys is brand new to us. So ladies in the Western world, keep disrespecting your toys and devalue them because they are valuable and a treasure somewhere else. Me, I'm not even mentioning any names except Black Kings or Afam Kings. They said, you can have them. We don't care. They're just an old toy. And I was like, okay, that's not a problem because we Filipina value old toys. And now that I'm trying to help all these Afam Kings and Black Kings, it's still a problem. They're laughing and bashing at me for trying to help quality men to marry a Filipina. They said they don't care, but they're still talking about it. Are you sure you don't care or are you just afraid of losing good men in the Western world? Are you trying to stop me from helping future king to find their Filipina queens? Not gonna happen. So my friends, especially to my chocolate kings, 
Please protect me from all the hyenas who wants to stop me from finding your Filipina queen. Thank you. Yeah. So now, the Western women, in quotes, that the passport bros are running away from are hyenas, while the Filipina are the lions that are going to save this poor, helpless, defenseless men that are being manipulated and not treated right by the hyenas in the Western countries, right? From a lot of her videos, she was being addressed by a lot of black women who responded to her. So they dropped comments in her videos. She responds to the comments. So it was a lot of back and forth between her and black women. And the way she was talking about black kings in, in a lot of her videos, one can actually assume that the hyenas that she's throwing shade at in quotes are black women. First of all, I was going to say it's not even right for you to be referring to your fellow woman as a hyena. But then she is referring to the Filipina women as lions, right? So maybe that's some National Geographic channel, Lion King kind of thing going on in her head. I do not know. But one thing I know is that that hyena is definitely not an endearing term. She's using that in a way, in a derogatory way to these Western women or in quotes, black women. Now, this lady is not even joking around because she has created a kind of platform i don't know if i'll call it a dating service or a matchmaking service or whatever but she definitely now does this thing where she um links up filipina women and passport bros like you send her your profile and then she finds you someone that kind of thing omg filipina alert filipina alert we have another chocolate king looking for a filipina queen so our chocolate king is 45 years old. He is a blank and therefore he is a sweet lover. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And he looks like the young version of Steve Harvey. Uh-huh. That means he's very good looking. And if you're a Filipina hoping to find a chocolate king, you must be 25 to 30 years old. So ladies, what are you waiting for? Message me on Instagram now. OMG, Filipina alert, Filipina alert. We have another chocolate king looking for a potential Filipina queen. My chocolate king is currently from the Caribbean. OMG, you're so lucky, girl. And hey, you must know how to make him happy. I mean, we Filipina knows that we already know how to make our men happy. So girls, what are you waiting for? Send me your status now. Money is being made. People are monetizing this passport bro situation. I never would have thought. Like, she's so smart. So as if that was not enough, one thing that shocked me and I think shocked a lot of people, including the passport bros, was when she made this video. So a lot of people have asked me, Halga, are you against passport bros now? And my answer is, no, I am not against passport bros. I understand that passport bros are going to certain countries to find certain women. But I mentioned in the past many times that I don't fully support all the passport bros. You know why? Because not all of them are kings. Meaning, not all passport bros are going to the Philippines or certain countries to find quality women. And guys, I got tired of fights and arguments here on social media. You know why? Because it's overwhelming and it's never ending. And as I mentioned in the past, I was guilty of that too. And the thing that I don't like and appreciate is, I don't appreciate those men who are going too far. So you guys, if you want to go to the Philippines or in Asia to find certain women because you appreciate their culture and other things, you can do that. Yes, you can. But we should stop bashing and degrading all the women in the Western world, especially black women. Many of the passport bros and the other men are going way, way too far. It's too far that you have no respect for women in general. I mean, it's okay to compare the difference between Asian or Filipinas versus uh, black women or Western women. That's okay. 
But when we are putting all the Western women, especially black women, down by degrading them and disrespecting them, then that's unacceptable. You can't say all black women are because that is not true. You say a lot of disrespecting words against black women. But you have to understand that your great-great-grandmother, your grandmother, your mother, your sister, your daughters are black. So when you say black women this, black women that, you're including your entire relatives. But you're not thinking that your daughter is also black. And that is why I want to stop this drama because for me, it is not right anymore, guys. I have so much respect for quality men, especially black men, but it doesn't mean I have to disrespect all black women. Number one person who inspired me a lot is Oprah. And therefore, I have so much respect for Oprah because I consider her my God. And my late husband, Tupac, he has a lot of respect for certain women, especially his mom. So we need to stop degrading women now. Just go to the Philippines or Asia to find the women of your dream. Okay, guys, I still love you. So it's safe to say that she's kind of like reducing her kind of support and the way she's championing for the passport rules, right? Nobody saw that coming. I think at some point the outrage and the dragging got too much that she couldn't handle it anymore. She had to like surrender and start pandering to black women. And then the final video that made me feel like mm -mm, I have to talk about this lady is when she made this particular one. Good morning, everybody. So someone told me, Helga, you are like the Filipina Harriet Tubman. And for me, I feel like, ah, thank you. Thank you for seeing the work that I do. And yes, you're right. I am the Filipina Harriet Tubman version. My goal is to help a lot of men, not just black men, but all the men, all the quality men, find a Filipina quality woman. You know, guys, it just makes me sad seeing all these quality men falling into the hands of many hyenas. And they don't even think that they're quality men because a lot of hyenas are so good at manipulating. They would say, oh, if you don't buy me this, if you don't do that for me, then you're not the one for me. Guess what, quality men? They're not the woman for you either. Just don't lower your standard for the sake of keeping the hyena happy because at the end of the day, you guys have your own happiness too. You guys have your own feelings too. And you deserve to be happy with the right woman. And that is why I am here, guys, to help you through the process. It's a lot of work for me, but you know, it is my goal to help you. And if you trust me to help you, then you will find the quality Filipina or women you're looking for. But you're not gonna find that woman, not unless you're getting out from your comfort zone. Just remember, there are many types of animals out there. If hyena exists, that means lions exist too. Unfortunately, there are a lot of hyenas in the Western world. But if you're looking for lions, they're mostly in Asia. I find it so disrespectful that Harriet Tubman was dragged into this mess. Like, what is this? Does she have any idea what Harriet Tubman represents to black people? And then, guess what? She's not Harriet Tubman for everybody. She's Harriet Tubman specifically for the black kings. Hi, guys. I'm dropping in from editing. When I was editing this video, I realized from a lot of the talking points this particular woman made, I realized how manipulative she is. First of all, you're talking down on these Western women, black women especially, calling them hyenas, how they jump from one man to the other, how they manipulate men. And you guys, the Filipinas, are all that is pure and good. And you're going to treat these men right and all. Of that and when she got called out maybe she couldn't handle the heat anymore or maybe because she had made enough money from her matchmaking service she now decided to come and retract what she had said talking about how not all passport bros are good some of them are bad and this is the same passport bros that she painted as the victims as innocent as being manipulated as valuable now she's coming out to talk about how not all of them are good and she's no longer going to champion for all of them and then talking about how they should stop talking down on black women and it's disrespectful and i'm like um 
you talk down on black women you talk down on western women you were using all those stereotypes that have been sold to you and you know nothing about these women i don't know if she lives in the western world or whatever but it was wrong of her to say a lot of the things that she said so you're trying to now take back what you said did she apologize to the women that she said these things about see it's just shameful that these people these non-black people are regurgitating the things that they've heard black men say about black women it is sad this is what they mean when they say divide and conquer when we are too busy fighting amongst ourselves making the other gender look bad the black women are talking bad about the black men the black men are talking bad about the black women these people are watching and they're going to manipulate it to their advantage which is what she did she saw that we were too busy bashing each other having this petty gender wars calling each other out on social media and she capitalized on it she came out and she also started talking down on black women and then appeared to be the savior who's going to save these black men and get them their in quote filipina queens and then she made money off of it so now that she sees it's no longer profitable she's coming out to talk about i no longer support all of the passport bros i hope you guys can see this is what we get when we keep shamelessly bashing each other i have not seen any other race or community of people that bash each other and you know drag each other as much as our people and it's just sad i hope this is a lesson to every black person let me play some of the responses to her videos please protect me from all the hyenas who wants to stop all right so the passport bros and the women that hate the passport bros then got this shit taken to another level and what we not going to do is in the midst of this bullshit ass infighting start promoting or accepting non-black women calling our sisters hyenas now i don't support the passport bros because i don't i don't believe i'm pro-black so i don't believe black men should be with anybody but black women i don't support the black women who are talking shit about the passport bros because that that shit is mind-boggling but even though i might not respect all these women that's on here mad at the passport bros i am not going to sit back and allow this woman to fuck call our sisters hyenas bitch fuck you please protect me from all the hyenas who wants to stop i got you my sexy filipino babe i'm gonna protect you from them hyena bitches i'm going to crown you king bros only if you prove it to me so this is what happens when we are divided right so we've been fighting with each other dogging each other out about passport bros and i saw this particular lady i guess her name is helga right sounds like a witch's name or something like that helga um i saw her a while ago and saw that she was manipulating the whole situation of black men and black women fighting with each other she sat back and manipulated and played it perfectly gentlemen the hyenas that i'm talking about are the one who don't fun facts about hyenas real quick hyenas live in packs and they are female driven the female is the most dominant and the most aggressive within the litter that hyenas have usually the first one that come out is trying to take out all of the ones that come out after it female hyenas are also so aggressive that it makes mating an actual problem to have hyenas how do you get connected with Helga Dating Service? Helga, girl, you don't gain the follower in me. I don't like your ass, but you don't gain the follower in me. Because, baby, when I tell you that your finesse game is top tier, baby, your finesse game is top notch. Baby, you don't sit up there and you don't rent a whole bag up on them. Girl. I didn't even see that coming. I saw it coming a little bit, but baby, you ran your whole bag up off of the Passport Bros movement. <laughs> I'm weak. Helga, are you against Passport Bros now? Okay, now it's time for me to stop laughing and get serious about this situation. Yeah, you finessed them. You ran a bag up on them. Now you got you a matchmaking service. 
So you getting ready to come out on top in a sense because you finna monetize this. But what you didn't address was the amount of women, especially black women, that you hurt in the process of you infiltrating and you capitalizing off of these men in the passport bros movement. See, yeah, yeah. You could have ran your bag up. You could have ran your finesse. You could have did a whole lot of things without you lying and dragging and name calling westernized, specifically black women into your foolishness. However, you saw an opportunity, you jumped in it and you ran with it. I get it because just like most of y'all who do it, y'all too lazy to get off y'all ass and get it out the mud on y'all own in typical fashion y'all step on the backs of black people specifically american black people in the black community to give y'all leverage on y'all way up and then on y'all way out the door y'all wipe y'all feet on black people I got an issue with that. You was real fucked up for that. And now that you don't want no parts of it, now you run it. Mm-hmm. That fire real hot. When you touch it, it's hot. But I just want to come and I'll go and stitch your video and let you know all that bullshit that you did, all them damaging comments, all that, that, that them, them other women that you gave the courage to, to disrespect and come on here and talk shit about black women. You didn't have to do that. You could have went a completely different way about getting what you got from the men. Certain women, especially his mom. So we need to stop degrading. All right, everybody, this is going to be part one. This is going to be a three part, if not four part video about this, what this pandering Helga is doing. OK, I felt since day one, she had an agenda. That's why I never followed her. OK, I followed her for a moment. Then after I got to hearing certain things, I got to noticing her timing with all the passport kings and all the infomercials and everything else. I backed off. You guys have got to listen at the stuff she's saying. Sisters, I don't want nobody to come in and take advantage of y'all. I may say some shit to y'all. We may say some shit to y'all, but we still do not want to see no other group of people harm nor take advantage of y'all. OK, seriously. Listen at the stuff she's saying. It sounds too stereotypical. Um, she considers Oprah Winfrey her God. Y'all really think them Filipino women think like that? Oprah Winfrey, a talk show host, she considers her God? Come on, y'all. Seriously. Oh, 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 my favorite. Her husband, Tupac, respected certain women, especially his mom. Let me guess. She's heard a song or two. It almost sounds like when Camilla Harris said, Oh, well, Tupac's my favorite rap artist. I look forward to meeting him. I thought he was dead since she's been in office. Think about this. I may have harsh words, but those are my harsh words. I'm in the community. I do not want to. I get tired of seeing other people come in and capitalize off us, off our women. OK, so you don't have to like me. You don't have to agree to me. Just listen at what Helga's saying. Let it filter through here. She's full of shit. OK, everyone wants to imitate them. Well, let me give you a Philippine lesson. Side eye. Mega side eye. Bombastic side eye. You guys know who that lady is, right? That's the lady that support passport bros, right? The ones that said, leave America, go to her country. We'll go ahead and take care of you guys. Do we have short term memory? Why are we liking that post? Someone please tell me. She's using us to get those likes. And some of you guys are falling for it. There's just a lot going with her. She needs to figure herself out. I'm done talking about this. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on notifications. That way YouTube is going to let you guys know whenever I drop a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. From now on, a new movement is born. And I call it Bad Bros and Good Bros. And for the good bros, I'm going to help you find a good Filipina. And eventually, I'm going to crown you king bros 
only if you prove it to me that you are a king. Now, for the bad bros, I am going after you. Are you ready? Bad bros, bad bros, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when Hilda comes for you? Bad bros, bad bros, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when Hilda comes for you? That's right, I will come for you.